<laughs> there were there there was a there was three dudes out. It was a light skinned dude. This nigga was cussing. He was like ghetto. No one popped their balloon. They all kept it. They already made their toys. Like, yeah. that, that nigga was six right. three light skinned did it, <laughs> and then nobody popped their balloon. Good Good to to go. the girls? Good to go. I I ain't never heard no dude cuss on this, and he was just like shit, nigga. And I was like, y'all listening to this? That's a fact. And they, you and can they, if, if, if they like you, you can do anything. There's nothing anything. that you can say or do that that's not cute enough or it is a deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I stand correct. You, right. so you guys, so are we talking about handsome privilege just like women have pretty privilege? It don't have to no, be handsome. It could just for whatever reason that she like you, whatever that yeah. is. One, it, it, about it, it, could, it, could, it don't have to be looks. It could be anything. It could be personality. It could be money. It could be confidence. It could be a combination of any of the two. It could be a, it could be whatever it is, whatever it is. When she when she pick you, when like when she like you, not if she settle for you. It's a difference, but when she like you, you can do no wrong in her eyes. They call it the spark. That's like the yeah. spark. Yeah, you know what I'm saying I, I'll okay, put so I'll put up in a Bentley, so everything sparked inside of you. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. Okay, so are you the you men on here, right? Are you are you the type to, you don't have to be attracted to her. You can grow into that attraction by the way she talks, by the way she carries herself, or you have to be attracted to her. I got to be attracted to her, for sure. Oh, so you would pop your balloon. If you came across, you was on that show, and a girl came came into the room and you wasn't attracted, you would pop your balloon immediately because you're sure. not wasting your time, right? Yeah, I ain't gonna okay. Waste oh, okay, okay. So but do you I'm, think a, that's I'm, a, I'm a man though. Like you gotta be physically appeasing to me. Like that's I'm a You man. don't think women want attractive men too? Nah, nah. So women women like attractive men for sure. But women, but the things that women women find important in men are not just physically attractive, attractive things, which goes back to what with Taisha. Taisha said, say man, we're gonna choose up on a good dude and hit the, the handsome, attractive dude on the on the side. Right. Like, yeah, but before things that we want to just different. Yeah, true. But before we even know what you have to offer, the initial attraction is the physical attraction, which is why you just said when you see a woman, if you on that show and a woman that you were not attracted to before she can even open her mouth and give you all her great qualities, you're gonna pop the balloon because you're not physically attracted to her, right? So the same thing for women on in that setting, on that show. If they're not immediately physically attracted before these men even open their mouth to say how great they are, they're going to pop the balloon. That's just a natural way for just humans, just in general, when it comes to physical attraction. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. I, I think, I think, you, I think, in that, sense, listen. in that sense, in the show, I think they cheat themselves. I think the women cheat themselves because if you only have, I think, I think both, I think both the men and the women can cheat themselves if they pop the balloon immediately without getting to know someone. Nope. Well, but but listen, like if you listen to okay. all the women, <laughs> that's fair. What, that's fair. No, that's like fair. if you listen, if if you listen that's to fair. all the women, they all said he was attractive after they said, "Why'd you pop the balloon?" Oh, you're still yeah, handsome. So I'm just like, that's true. That's, that's true too. That's true too, Quentin. Yep. They yeah. always say it. They did yeah. say that. All of them said, "Yeah, well, you attractive." One, there's one girl that said that his face. She she references face. Honestly, after I think while. which one was that? What well, girl? Um, no, she was room. talking to somebody else. She wasn't talking. To that was another guy that she was that shit, nigga. Honestly, I just think it was the way he was dressed. And I think that I didn't have an issue with the way he was dressed. I thought he looked nice and clean cut. I personally like his style, but the lineup of women couldn't appreciate the look, I don't think. I thought that he was, I thought that he was fresh too. Yeah, I thought he looked nice. But I, I don't like think they he, found him attractive. Yeah, yeah, I, I think, think they, they, would just, just, they were just. He was out of. He was out of their league. I think. I think oh, they. Were, I think they weren't even attracted to him. They weren't wait, attracted. Wait, wait, wait. To so let, let me let me mind that out though, Jazz. Hold on. Are you saying that that they did find him attractive, but that they didn't feel like they qualified for him, and so that's one mm -hmm. of the reasons why they popped the balloon? I don't think so. Um, I don't, I'm not saying that. I just think that they couldn't appreciate. Uh, his right. look and his demeanor, because they're they're you they may be used to a certain archetype of of man. You know what I mean? His pants were tight; they were tailored; they were fitted. You know what I mean? That's correct. They, yeah. 
they 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 couldn't they couldn't see past that because they, 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 they was ignorant. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? I don't think. No, I, I have I'm, more. I'm, I'm, hey, y'all, hold on. Let me let me just, let me just say this. I'm muting people in between when other people talk because I'm getting feedback, and I just want to make yeah. sure that hear everybody. I hear it too. His his pants were tight, like. Someone reviewed and they said they can see like his little boxer brief line coming through his pants. <laughs> the motherfuckers was tight. If you can see his underwear, no, I it's not true. They were fitted. They it was had fitted. nothing to do with his fit. I'm gonna be honest. It had it was, nothing. It was, his pants was tailored. What do y'all want him to wear? A Steve Harvey suit? And, and, and his pants was dirty too. It don't matter. I'm gonna say hey. it. <laughs> How can y'all say <laughs> This is what they're that? looking at. This How is literally what they're looking at. Like, you got tight, dirty pants on, and they see How it. you figure his pants was dirty? Because right. someone, like, reviewed it and went down you the whole that. thing. It's like, look, that. there's an underwear that. line. Here's his dirty-ass pants. Like, they busted it was all it down. Was a man that reviewed that or a woman? A man. That's why. <laughs> that's, that's hate. That's all yeah. hate, bro. Like, I'm not even... I didn't even notice hate. that. Like, I, I just want... I want to say that... <sighs> We would so black black women have celebrated recently this whole oh you got a white man got with a black woman and she turned him out right I don't know what that challenge is called but a white woman got with a black man I mean a white man has gotten with a black woman and she turned him out black girl effect the black white like the, 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 the black girl effect thank you the black girl effect so we'll celebrate that and we'll we'll get with a white man who might have tight pants, who might look nerdy and all these other things, but we'll turn around and say, oh, but the black man, no, he's not attractive because his, his pants is too tight. What happened to the black woman effect? If you are that bad and you got the black woman effect, you can turn anybody out. Why, what's the, I'm not under, I don't understand the dichotomy there of why they would not find him attractive, but then, you know, this whole black girl effect thing is out there and you celebrate turning this, you know, ch basically to, to uh, Island Girl's point, those things are can be changed. If you have the black girl effect, you can change those things. I those just want to matter. I'll be honest, because I went back to the video. He got a nice body, right? The fit ain't ugly. He not sagging his pants. I really think it's his face. I really think the women saw his face, you know, he got the exhibit braids and they weren't attracted to his face, but to say his clothes, like, I don't see, I don't see no. I don't thing. believe that Q. And the reason that I don't believe that okay. is because I think that women are so me too-ish. Half of the women popped the balloon because the other half of the women popped the balloon. Yeah. It, probably, if you look them. at it, if you look at it, yeah, some of them probably. popped. And they didn't even want to pop, and they popped it because everybody else popped it. Yeah, they're followers, but they're probably going to be in his DMs right after the show or whatever. They do the little, um, I think they do a little group thing because they heard his resume. And at times, you know, a man's resume makes makes the man look better, and that's why the that, shirt got a balloon I, back. I think that if we really want to put this in perspective, I think that. If he hadn't have picked the chick, he die. He would have dodged all those bullets. Every woman on there was a was a red flag. And he a shouldn't even have picked her. He should have popped her balloon. That, <laughs> that's why I said if he hadn't have picked her. Um, the the problem with a lot of guys is well, let me not say that. I'm a, I'm gonna save that. I think that the problem with a lot of women is that they'll sit there and they'll say, "Oh no, you know, we looking for good guys." But this is the exact reason why guys feel like they they don't give a fuck about y'all. It's not even like guys are not truthful with y'all because they don't give a fuck no more. Y'all, y'all, I believe that most women have worn men out. They have worn them their 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 conscience for how you feel and and to care about you. They realize that they get more the less they give a fuck about what you think and what you say. And so when they nice, they don't get shit from you. And when they when they mean or when they just say whatever it is that you want to hear and do whatever it is that you want to do, then they, they get, they get everything out of you. And so I think that y'all have in a way, and this is no excuse. I think that y'all have in a way conditioned men to fuck y'all over. And, I, and, and let me also throw a cherry on top of that. Y'all don't respect black men the same way that other, that, that y'all respect 
men that's not black. Y'all will take a man that got the George Burns. He, all of this is missing up here, and he got the whole wrap around here, right here. Y'all take the y'all will take those guys, a white guy like that. Amen. And y'all will be jocking this nigga and saying that he's zaddy and shit. And y'all and y'all value him. And then another dude will come up and be like, "Yeah, man, I'm a I'm a fucking author for for Harry Potter." <laughs> boom, 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 boom. They didn't hear that first hit, Y'all, y'all, y'all act like y'all want. Oh, I want the nerdy guy, the guy that stays home every day. Shut the sh shut the fuck up. That's such a cap. That's so cap. Y'all don't want the nerdy guy. Y'all don't want. Y'all don't want him. Y'all treat guys just like Forrest Gump. Y'all Gen A, and when Gen A get done getting fucked over, then hopefully Forrest will come and make sure that she's taken care you of. Mean, for the rest of life. You mean Steph and um, what's the other guy? Urkel. So no, y'all y'all too young for for Forrest Gump. Don't worry about it. Go ahead, Anton. If you were single, right? Yeah. You were on Pop the Balloon. You were the men lined up. I would never go on Pop the Balloon. That's not okay. even okay. Hypothetically, I know that. Ask Clinton or ask Pronto. No, 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 no. Pronto already said he's popping. You would never see me show up on a show like that ever. Okay, <laughs> so let's say and let's say it was a, uh we out at a bar, and the line of women is speed dating. Right. I would never show up at a speed okay, day. Okay, never mind. Because we, Anton, I already know your type. I'm not built like that. I don't give a fuck. If a woman built. wasn't your type, you not, you, you pop oh, too. Bullshit. I talk to everybody. Yep, you talk I'm to everybody. Right. That's not the same. You said what? You said what, Trigger? I was like, you're not trying to play the game that she, I, I talk to everybody. I, I'm not the type of person. First of all, I'm not the type of person to look at anybody like that. Like when I'm out and about, I don't look at people and say, damn, you know, what what I talk to her or shit like that. I don't have that in me. I just That's like to have fun with everybody. We, and we so I don't, give, I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't care what you look like. If you got good energy, if you a good person and your breath smell good, we can hang. Let's That's go fucking party and let's go, let's go have a good time. Okay, let me ask you what else. I'm not, I'm not on all of that shit. We're I'm not, not talking about that. That's really friends. That. That's totally different than the question. If you were on Pop the Balloon Quinn, lined up as those men, and you see a chick walking in that's not your type physically, completely, are you popping the balloon? She's talking to Quinn. Quinn. No, no. Okay. You know, that's one guy's answer. We already had Pronto. I but, would I would never I would never pop a balloon on somebody unless they just have a fucking if I'm if I'm standing in a line, right? Not a person that's up there advertising myself, but if I'm just like just hypothetically speaking, let's say you're standing in a line mm. and you look at people. I don't believe in just in real life, I don't believe in discarding people. I just like I just like cool oh, everybody. I will hang with anybody as long as they got good energy. We're not talking about hanging, Anton. If you're on a dating show and I see somebody coming in, well, uh, pants is baggy. Yeah, well, he look yeah. like he smoked weed. He got the shades. He looked like he in them streets. I'm popping right away. Like, yeah, no. I, would, I would never be in that type of situation. So. Yeah, me either. But it's just a hypothetical. You know, we talk about hypotheticals. Like, I, I, I need for I what? What? Why? Okay, but listen. Why? Here's my question. All right, so let's say we put ourselves in that situation. Why would I pop a balloon on, on a person? Or why would you pop a balloon on a person when at any point you can pop it? But why wouldn't you want to get the full context of who the person is before you pop it off? Because it's not like it hurt. Like, you can't, you can't, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can, you can't take that back. Once you set that impression, like, fuck you, pop the balloon. Without even hearing what the person got to say, you would pop the balloon before you even hear the context. Even sure. if you don't like the person, you don't want to at least hear the pitch. If I see a man coming, he got face tattoos. Look, no, like but why? Why wouldn't you just hear everything? It got to be all of the information. Be. A smart person, any smart person, no matter what it is that you do, you always want to get all of the information, even if you are looking to do it, so that you can make an informed decision in everything, business, dating, relate, everything. I want to understand everything before I do it. Even if I'm looking to do it, even if I really want to, I still want to hear everything 
so I can make the decision. Why would you? Why wouldn't you do that? I know. I know, I know if I'm not attracted to you. It, it, I understand no that. I get it. But even if I'm not attracted to you, I still want to hear everything before you have a, before you have an impression of how I treat you. I want to understand everything before I make a decision. Y'all don't think that that's wise? But no, no, why if you're, it's, go ahead. No, I was just going to ask. Like, I, I feel I feel both sides. But if you already know you aren't physically attracted to them, why do you want to hear them out after the fact? Exactly. Because, because it doesn't. Because I'm at the advantage. I get to hear everything. I get to oh, see God. everything. And it <laughs> may be something in there. It may be something in there that may turn the tide or That's maybe, a lot. maybe maybe we can maybe we can network together or whatever like that. Listen, when you give a person an impression, when you treat a person a certain way, <laughs> when you treat a person a certain way, especially in person, that that people remember that. But Anton, this ain't about networking. You can That's network. Right. Everything is about networking. Anton, 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 I know Anton's type. If a chick came through uh, a, a baby mama, okay, she got a fupa, she mm -hmm. likes skin, yep. wear wigs, wear lashes. Mm -hmm. That's not even your type. Facts. Why do you? Why do you even got it? Pop. Then you can sit there and listen. Oh, I can still network her later. But you, no, you can't. No, 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 no. Because they already got an impression of how you, how you, how you treated them. No, even don't. if it was just that popped the balloon, they already have it in their mind of how you treated them when you first no. interacted with them. They're gonna be like, "Oh, why did you pop your balloon?" Well, I'm gonna be honest, you're really not my type. No, but we can still network together. Never. That's what they all say. The <laughs> smartest right. people in the world, the smartest okay. people in the world, always, always hears it before mm. they make a decision. Okay, so it, what doesn't, we, it doesn't hurt me to hear everything, even if I'm gonna still pop it. I still want to. I want to leave a good impression on you, and okay. I want to hear everything so I can make the most informed decision. Y'all crazy? Okay, so, so, you, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right. And so, so you saying you gonna pop the balloon? You just not gonna pop it? No, no, no. I'm saying that I, I'm more than likely am. No matter what I'm gonna do, I want to hear everything first before I make that decision. So basically, he he doesn't want to pop it too soon because he doesn't want to leave a bad impression on that other person. Correct. Even though he knows he's gonna pop it eventually, he doesn't want to, I guess, hurt the feeling of the other person. It's not just hurt the feelings. What if they say something that makes sense to me? What okay, if they... but, 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 but we're not talking about <laughs> what makes sense. We're talking about physical attraction. Would you be in a relationship with this person? No, we're not. We're not talking. Not, we're not no, talking no, about no, networking. That's not the scenario. That is my scenario. It's not. A pop, a pop of a balloon does not automatically translate into a relationship. That's not. No, no. Story. This show is for love. That's what it's it's about. It's for love. But it's, it's a, no. The show is a potential for love. Then they go out. It doesn't mean that they're gonna be in a relationship. It's you are you gonna give this person a chance to go on the next to go to the next step? That's what the show is. Oh gosh. Okay. That's what the show yeah, I think is. There, if you there, start there, I think people like who actually whole, you pop in. We can't. Go ahead, Quentin. I think the people who actually match are probably like batting like five percent. Like them niggas don't be like. I think like one couple made it out of the, all the episodes. One, one couple yeah, got engaged from the show. Yeah, one, one. one. You're right. One. Wait wait, 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 wait. Listen, listen. Nine times out of ten, what we see these women say, and they did it on that very same guy. They was like. You know what? Now that you're talking and you attractive and all of this, whatever, like no. most of them had a high mentality and they immediately, oh, I am not, I didn't feel a spark. Oh, you remind me of my little brother. That's so dumb. That's just weird. Yeah, that's weird as fuck. That is dumb. Why no. would you let the person talk and say what they, I want to know what you do for a living. I want to know. I, I want to know. No matter what it is, I still want to make the most informed decision. Before I make my decision, that's okay. why I'm letting you talk first. Okay. Do you think that has to do with them being younger? Because I know that you know you're older, and a lot of people on the panel might be around the same age. The people mm -hmm. that's on that show, they look like they're in their twenties, and I can honestly say, back in my twenties, I would have been popping the balloon just on sight. But now, being older, being in my late thirties, now. I'm more of I would probably hear you out before I pop the balloon. But if I'm in my 20s, anywhere in my 20s, it probably would have been automatic pop if I'm not physically attracted to you. 
Okay, so if okay. If you were attractive, you wouldn't have you would have popped or no? Latonya. Now I would probably more so hear out, but if I was like in my twenties, I'm young on the show and single looking, I'm just I'm popping if I'm not attracted right off the top. Mm -hmm. I know it sounds shallow, but no, it's not. I just I think, think I just think I just think it's different for men and women. I think that oh, okay, and I, and I know don't 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 kill me for this. I'm just saying like I think that most times most women end up with a guy that they're not the most attracted to, but it's just it's just something else that was that, that was and about. Cheap. I'll give but, you an example. But, but I'll I'll, give you an example. I, I'm just saying. I'm that's just saying that's reality. I'll give, you, I'll give you an example. They settle for those guys, but I'll give you an example. When I go out pretty regularly, I'm usually out at least three, four times a week, you know, in a mix somewhere or wherever, no matter what city I'm in. I see guys, right? And guys, they only navigate around the women that they really like, similar to what Pronto was talking about. They may, most of the time, they don't say nothing, but they'll navigate around. But sometimes they'll walk up to a woman or whatever and say that. I'm different. I walk up to everybody. Like I walk up to everybody. I kick it with everybody. And I want to, you know what I'm saying? I, I network. Oh, introduce me to your friend over there. I don't give a fuck about what she looked like. I don't care what she doing. I want to hear what everybody talking about. And so I'm just, I'm, I'm very social. I want to hear everything. I don't only want to be around that person over there or this person over here. Oh, she prettier than that. Give a fuck about that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not coming from that standpoint. I. I. I, I converse with everybody. Race. I can converse with. Yeah. I'm just saying for the for the sake of the show, which is the red balloon pop show, where they ask you specific, based off of first impression of this person, when you see them, are you gonna pop your balloon or not? Never. Never. If I if if I'm in a social setting. Like right now, we're, we're in this setting right here. I, I'm not. I'm not picking out who I think is the most attractive to speak to. I'm speaking to everybody. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying for the sake of a dating show, what what what, what attracts me as a man, first off, mm -hmm. probably probably second on the list of a woman is how she looks. I'm, I, I don't her, disagree. With her you. character is first, of course, but how she looks. But how can you? But wait, wait, wait. If looks is second. If looks is second and character is first, how do you know what her character is before she speaks? Because this is what I'm saying. If, for, if, in, or, in order for me to pop that balloon, you got to be so much of not my type that I had to pop that balloon. That's not what you said at first. No, 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 no. I, I, I didn't. I didn't break it down what I said at first. But what I, what oh, I'm no, no. Is, you, said, balloon, you said you said that you popping a balloon immediately based off of looks. That's what you said at first. Right. True, true. You, and I'm saying, what now, I'm saying. Boy, you're switching it up. Now you're saying serious. number one is character. Number two is looks. Right. How do you make, how do you evaluate your number one without actually hearing what they got to say? So check me out. Check me out. Let me okay. explain. What, what, I, what I'm saying is, first off, I said character is first, but looks is a close second. So what I'm saying is, in order for me to pop this balloon, you got to be so far off of my grid of attraction that I had to pop it. I'm not saying that you got to be the baddest chick ever. I'm not saying that you have to be a nine or an eight or whatever. I'm just saying in order for me to pop this balloon, I completely have no attraction to you. So I had to pop that. But I don't even, want, I don't, I don't even care to, to hear what you have to say. When, you know what I'm when, women, when men go up to women out in public, they're going based on their looks. We right. can't like we can't be naive right. to this. That's reality, right? A woman could look like a nine ten, but as soon as she opens her mouth and she don't got no substance, that will lower her number. But we right. can't be oblivious to this. You men that shoot your shot in our DMs or we go out and you holla, it's based on what we look. That's like. That's my whole point. I think that they no, need the to whole, stop. But, they need to stop tagging y'all hoes. Fuck y'all. You look nothing, Anton. You got to be attracted to your wife. You was attracted you to You have to stop sending these hoes DMs. Stop sending these women DMs, that bro. Has, that That's has true. nothing to do with what I'm talking about. Yes, these it does. Are, these it's men are not dudes can't, Listen, listen. Dudes oh, can't God. even... You, you know why guys are so blinded? 
why they put up with y'all shit for longer than they supposed to mm-hmm. is because the thing that they the thing that they liked about you first was the superficial shit. Okay. That's why they willing to put up with some of the boy guys suffer through remorse. Nine times out of ten, most relationships that guys are in, they suffer mm-hmm. through it because the thing that they came into it liking about you was the thing that didn't really matter. Okay. They should have never even got with y'all in the first place, but they approached you based off of the thing that wasn't best for them. So are you telling men not to approach women? I am. Okay, so, Jesus. I am. (laughs) Okay. That's exactly what I'm saying. And men don't approach women. You most women don't even approach men. And then stay single forever. I think Most women don't even approach men. I think what he's saying is, I think what he's saying is, choose a woman who chooses you. But she, but, but she got, but she got to be. Right. Gotta be see your life. Well, hold on. If most women don't approach men, how is that going to happen? Because, because look, the one, the one who really wants you, it's not. The, I know it happened. It happened. The really, the one who really wants you, uh-huh. she gonna, she gonna choose up. 